So there's another trick for multiplying on your fingers, which is multiplying by six, seven, or eight on your fingers. So this trick relies on you essentially giving each one of your fingers or thumb, they're actually digits, not fingers, uh, a value. So we'll call this one six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10 at the top. And we'll do the same for the other fingers. In this example, we're doing seven times by six. Um, you only really want to use this method for six, seven, and eight um, multiplications. Anything else, you're better off doing it using a different method. Basically, you touch your seventh and sixth finger together, um, and then you count your fingers. So seven, six together, plus this six that's below it. So this is a three count, there's three fingers together, um, and this becomes your tens. So we'll call that three, uh, and then we'll put 10 there. And then you count all of your ones on the left-hand side, and all of the ones on your right-hand side that are left over, which is three and four, and you multiply these together, which gives you 12. And then your answer is these two numbers added together. So three times by 10 is 30, plus 12, is 42. Again, to me, this is an interesting way of doing it. I think it's not necessarily the easiest way of doing it, but why does it work? First thing that you can do is you can look at this algebraically. So we know that the fingers that are touching together um, will always be a certain number plus five because they start at six. So if we assume, assume that on this side we have N and this side we have M, and our equation is then n times by m, which is what we're trying to work out. Our first thing, which is that we would do 10 times by something, which is our digits wow. that would be touching and all of the ones below. So on our left hand side, the n side, we would actually have n minus five fingers. And on the right hand side, which would be a plus, we would actually have m minus five fingers. So that's essentially the, the first part of this equation, if you were to express it algebraically. And then what you would normally do is then add on what remains on the left times by what remains on the right, which again, we can work out very simply algebraically because on the left hand side, we would have 10 minus n and then you times that by 10 minus m. So if we expand this out, we end up with 10n minus 50 plus 10m minus 50 plus 100 minus 10n minus 10 M and then because there's a minus and minus we end up with a plus N M. Now quite conveniently in this equation the two minus 50s cancel out with this plus 100 the 10 N and the minus 10 N and then the 10 M and the minus 10 M cancel out which just leaves us with N M which is indeed what we're looking for. So that's an algebraic way of showing that this actually does work and it will work for any number between six and 10 um, based on most people having 10 digits, uh, five on each hand. So I just thought that would be quite interesting, you know, proving this again, using algebra to show that these methods do work um, and that doesn't mean that they're great methods.